Megan Hicks of Iron Far, and I'm here at the starting line of the 2015 Ultra Trail Mount Fuji. We're on the lakes, on the shoreline of Lake Kawaguchiko. I'm with Norwegian Sondre Amdahl. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good. I'm ready. Yeah. yeah. So we just came in out of a rainstorm. The rain started a couple hours ago, and it's kind of, um, it's not, it's not raining hard, but it's just steady, steady, steady. Yeah. And it looks like it's going to be a lot of rain tomorrow as well. Just steady all day with also yeah. a chance of thunderstorms, yeah? Yeah. So, um, how are you feeling about the course and, um, I mean this is, a, this is a course that rings around Mount Fuji, so one of the, the, the highlights is getting to see this mountain and now it's kind of shrouded in clouds, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to see the mountain before Sunday, so <laughs> we'll wait, save it for Sunday. Yeah. Did you get a glimpse before the clouds came No, in? I haven't. I haven't seen it. Never seen it. <laughs> <laughs> what is Mount Fuji? <laughs> Um, the last time we saw you was just four weeks ago at Ultra Trail Mont Blanc, and yeah. you dropped out at the 50k mark, and you um, um, com you said your chief complaint afterwards was uh, sore hamstrings and maybe a sore mind? Yeah, I think it was mind a little bit too. Okay. So, um, yeah, I was running well until um, about 35k at uh, Le Contamin, and I remember seeing you just before saint Gervais. Yeah. And then I felt good, and then uh, my hamstring started to seize up, and and uh, I had a tough climb up to um, to uh, Bonhomme, called the Bonhomme, and uh, and then I just struggled on the downhill, and I just couldn't do it. My uh, my muscles were sore, and and my stride was different, and I didn't want to ruin this race. Yeah. And uh, so I just I just stopped. And, uh, yeah. The um the hamstring thing was it cramping? Was it tightness? Was it pain? It was uh, tightness and pain. Okay. Um. um so I, I think I've fixed it now. I've been training uh, okay uh, since UTMB and uh, had some physiotherapy and I, I think I'm, uh, I'm recovered and ready to race. Yeah. Probably you imagined you know, racing UTMB, recovering, doing just a little bit of running and trying to like ride the fitness high, yeah. carry it to here. Yeah. Things probably changed because you only ended up running a 50k that day. Yeah. Well, actually it didn't change too much. Okay. I, uh, I've been talking with my, uh, my coach Ian Charman a bit and uh, we agree that uh, even if the UTMB was shorter than planned, I was still going to do similar uh, recovery okay. and, and uh, preparation for, UT for UTMF. Because of the injury type? Yeah, and then also because it's been a long season and uh, um, yeah, we don't believe in too much running all the time, yeah. you know? So uh, I think um, maybe I'm a little bit under trained, but I would rather be under trained than over trained. So I, I think I'm fresh and, and ready to go. You have had a long year. I mean, yeah. we watched you race at the Hong Kong 100K yeah. way back at the beginning yeah. of 2015. It was mid-January. Yeah. yeah. And now it's, you know, going on the end of September. Yeah. yeah. Um, was part of the mental issue at UTMB, was that related to it being a long season or just worried about your body that day or? I think it was my body that day. Okay. And uh, no, because I had a good, good um, uh, period of training after Western States, um, so um, it was just that day, I think. Okay. And because um, uh, I had a long season, but there has been some good breaks in between, and um, yeah, I, yeah, I can't blame a long season. I think for you. Okay. I think okay. it was my own fault. <laughs> but, yeah. but it's going to be good to have a break after after this race, and uh, and then start uh, preparing for for 2016. Yeah. Well, so here we are in a new country, Japan. Yeah. Have you been here for a couple of days to sort of sample the local culture? Yeah, a little bit. We flew in, uh, we, my, my buddy Didrik uh, from Norway, we flew in on, on uh, Monday. So we spent uh, three nights in Tokyo, okay. and, uh, which was good. And uh, we've been uh, just in to the jet Surrounded by humanity. Yeah, 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 lots of, lots of people. It's been it's been nice. Yeah. We had some Japanese food and uh, but mostly just relaxing, doing a little bit of training, but but uh, mostly just uh, taking it easy and, uh, and sleeping. Um, any little run sightseeing in Tokyo? Uh, just a little bit about around the park at um, Imperial Gardens and the, the palace. So. The famous 5K yeah, loop. Yeah, yeah. You, so <laughs> you partook in the fame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've just done a couple loops, so not too, not too much. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. And now here we are out in the Japanese countryside. Yeah. We're 
we can't really see it right now since it's raining out there. It's the countryside. <laughs> <we're>, <laughs> we, I guess we're in the countryside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now you're about to do a loop around Mount Fuji. You've probably done some reading on what you're going to expect out there in terms of the terrain. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of flat road running. There's a lot of steep ups and downs. They've just an announced some course changes because of the weather that's going to lead to even more flat running. Yeah. Where are you at mentally in terms of approaching the diversity of the terrain? <laughs> I'll, of course, I would prefer more mountains, <laughs> and more more trail, more Give technical me the trail. Steeps. No, but it's it's okay. I think it will going to be a good break the the, the flat the flat roads, and also I think with this weather, I think the the, the, the trail parts and the, and the steep parts is going to be really muddy, uh, which is not too fun. Yeah. So I think it's going to be okay. I mean, it's still 170 k. Yeah. So it's still going to be a, a long day out and yeah. long night. So. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm prepared for whatever comes. And okay. I, I haven't been here, I haven't seen the course, I don't know what to expect, but uh, from the profile, it looks like it's gonna be, yeah, like you're saying, steep ups and downs, and, uh, but I'm, I'm ready for it. Uh, I think it's good that we get uh, the most difficult parts in the, in the beginning. In the beginning. Yeah. Get, get, get through that stuff while you're still fresh, and then yeah. hopefully yeah. be able to turn over the legs once you get to Yeah, and then hopefully we can be a little group, uh, through the through the um, the tough parts in the beginning, and uh, which is nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I just run by myself. Uh, <laughs> at, uh, yeah, from the from the midsection and to the finish. Yeah. One of the questions that I have enjoyed asking a lot of different runners is that the course is really diverse. There's miles and miles of pavement, but then there's miles and miles of really technical stuff that's going to be made even more technical by the weather that's going on right now. Like how you decide on your shoes. Yeah. Yeah, I I think I'll do um, a good a good trail shoe with a good grip, uh, okay. the Superior from Ultra, and uh, for about uh, 70k, and then I'll uh, I'll switch to a more road shoe. Okay. Yeah, uh, and then hopefully that will that will last through the race because <laughs> uh, I don't want to change too much uh, too many times. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah. So you wear the Superior through the Tenshi Mountains yeah. and then change to the road shoe after that, or? Yeah, then I'll change to the Paradigm 1.5, okay. I think. And hopefully that's going to be okay on the technical <laughs> section at the end. You'll be the guy surfing, maybe? No, I mean, <laughs> I've, I've seen Jason Schlar using that um, uh, on Diagonal de Fuge on yeah. Reunion, so then I can use it here. Yeah, yeah. okay. So um, there's some international diversity going on here, but there are two Norwegians yeah. racing. Yeah. You and Didrik. Yeah. Um, is there Indeed. any is there any um, national competition going on between the two of you? Oh no, I think if there was, he was going to win because he's a really really strong road runner and also good at the technical section. Okay. So so I'll I'll hang as long as I can <laughs> and then, then, then we'll see what happens. No, he's a really good runner and we. We're good friends, and we're actually from uh, the same place in uh -huh. Norway, or, I didn't know or that. very close uh, uh, in Norway. So it's uh, it's cool. And um, do you yeah. train together sometimes? Uh, a little bit. Uh, okay. but he lives in, in Oslo, in the capital. Okay. So, uh, but last last winter we um, we trained a little bit together. Okay. Yeah. But um, we travel to races together, and I look forward to doing more of that in the future. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So, um, last question for you. It's the end of September. You've been racing since January. Is this the season closer? I think so. Yeah. yeah. I'm not doing Diego Dal de Fu, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, this is the closer. I, I, okay. I'll, um, I think I'll do uh, three or four weeks just off running, easy, easy training, uh, and then start preparing for 2016. Okay. Yeah. And so, um, do you have any. Um, and you were at races all over the country, but mostly like the long mountain ultras. Mm. Do you have any visions for what 2016 is going to hold? No, it's and uh, and that's exciting. But for sure, I think uh, there are some races that I want to do, and I think I'll start the 16 season with uh, North Face in San Francisco in December. Coming back to America. Yeah, yeah, I like I like yeah, you guys <laughs> in America, and then uh, and then probably um, Hong Kong in January. And then uh, Trans Gran Canaria in March. Okay. Um, so that's my favorite race. Is it? Yeah, for sure. And then um, I don't know for the summer. You know, it's it's a lottery going on. Maybe I'll be back in the states in July. You okay. Know, you know. 
You never know. Oh, for that one mountain race in one? Colorado? Yeah. The we'll Hardell? see. We'll see. <laughs> Put your name in the lottery and yeah. see what happens. Yeah. 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 All right, well, best of luck to you, not only in the Hard Rock Lottery, but you know, you'll need a little uh, luck to get around the mountain this weekend. Tomorrow, yeah. So best of luck to you. Thank you. And we'll see Thank you out you. there on, on the Flying Mount Fuji. Thank you. Thank you.